A judge sent the teenager to prison for 65 years in the murder of a Baltimore father of three. Tears flowed in the courtroom as the family of James Blue III told the judge about their painful loss. Blue's family asked for the maximum sentence, and as a WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren reports, that's exactly what they got. Shehu Cargbo apologized in court, and one of his family members passed out, falling face first under the courtroom floor upon hearing the six decade sentence. Blue's loved ones say no amount of prison time will bring him back. And I just happened to have his picture here. Yay. Oh my God. James. <laughs> All James Blue's family has are memories of the father of three. He was gunned down in January 2022 inside his car, parked at his Northeast Baltimore rental home, waiting for a refrigerator to be delivered. Sitting in the car waiting for a refrigerator to be delivered <coughs> to your property, man. That's the he, life of the son, man, man. He didn't know the son, man, that shot him? No, he was he was he was waiting for the guy to bring the bring the um the um refrigerator because he had he bought he bought a house and fixed it up and was gonna start renting it out. So he was, you know, furnishing it and whatnot, you know. And he was sitting in his car. I guess the guy was gonna pull up and he's gonna get out and you know, um they were gonna like either get the refrigerator in or whatever they wanna do. He was just sitting out there waiting for the guy. And then Sun team rolls up thinking he's an op from some hood because the Sun team was from the neighborhood too. And the Sun team just see this black guy sitting in the car. And let's keep it real, Reese. Yep. You see a black guy sitting in a car in your neighborhood and you're a little fucking street hoodlum or you're patrolling your little area. And there's a black guy sitting in a car in your little fucking patrol zone and shit. It's alarming. I'm not a I'm not a hood nigga right now, and right now I don't want to see nobody <laughs> sitting in a car on my block. A black guy. Be All the stores closed. He ain't doing nothing. He been there 15 minutes. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. he's just sitting there like wait. Cause see the thing about it, if the fucking refrigerator guy showed up on time, man, maybe this doesn't happen, but. You know, apparently it was some kind of delay and he's out there because he started talking to his son. He called the son and he was having a conversation with his son when the son when the son team rolled up on him. See that guy right there, he wasn't from he couldn't have been from the hood because the hood nigga would have told the refrigerator company, look here, man, call me when you're outside. <laughs> nah, but yo, he like I do Amazon every week. His mom lives on the next block. So this guy is from the he's from he's, oh. a, native, he's a native Baltimorean. So he his mom lives on the next block. So he 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 he's familiar with this area. I don't know if you know, but that doesn't mean anything. You don't know the sun team's coming up. Oh, he's he arrogant. <laughs> Go to right. Yo, yo, I with neighbors like that who needs enemies. <laughs> yeah, if, if he didn't know this particular sun team, it, that's all that matters. You didn't know this guy. But I don't know how familiar he was with the area, but his mom lives on the next block. And um, this was a property that he bought and he was fixing up. So he, if they're putting the refrigerator in, he's been fixing it up for a while. He's been going over there for a while because they're in the, the state, the furnishing state of, you know, stage of the, the project. And maybe he'd sat out there before in the car waiting for other people to come. And you just strike out. You know what I'm saying? Black or stand, sometimes you just strike <laughs> out. You get away with, you get away with risky behaviors a few times. And this time you just struck out. Yeah, that's so true. He, he crept out. Yeah. That's Sooner cool. or later, every every number comes up, right? Yeah. Hey, that's hey, me. I so, somebody in the chat said wrong place, wrong time, and, and I just want to say we don't believe in that right here. No, because this guy was at the right place. The wrong place as a guy who's fucking waiting for a refrigerator to come to your fucking property would have been not at the fucking property. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know I'm just saying? saying like we don't we don't believe in wrong place, wrong time here. What does that even mean? Yeah. The guy shows up, he's like, Hey man, I got the refrigerator in my side your fucking house. Where are you? Oh man, <laughs> my bad. I'm over my baby mother house, man. I'm trying to get a little <laughs> right. nookie right quick, man. Right, like like if he went to the wrong address, then yeah, he's at the wrong place. Yeah, this guy was at the right place. He was he was right where he needed to be.
was gunned down in January 2022 inside his car, parked at his Northeast Baltimore rental home waiting for a refrigerator to be delivered. Now, Shayu Cargbo has been sentenced to the maximum 65 years. There is no amount of time that, that can bring back my brother. There is no amount of time that can bring back her husband or her son. Cargbo, who was an 18-year-old student at Mervo High School at the time, fired 14 rounds into the victim's Damn. car as he was on the phone with his son. The judge noted Cargbo's escalating pattern of violence, including an armed robbery at a Baltimore County Wendy's, opening fire on a man at a hotel, and blues killing, all within the span of 19. Damn, this son man was out. He was he was spiraling, right? Is that what you call spiraling? Out of control? He was crying. He was crying out for help. Is all? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was crying out for help. That's exactly what he was doing. And no one, none of you evil gliders, fucking picked up the phone, man. He's calling out for help. He if, he, uh, got your, uh, if he got your uh, 25 lashes after that armed robbery, he probably wouldn't have done what he did. Oh, hell no. Nah. Listen, I'm the dude who's giving the lashes. If I think he's going easy or not putting his all into every lash, I'm saying, man, take the sun man down. Put his ass up there. He gets the rest <laughs> of it. Yo, you know how much bail you would need for an armed robbery 30 years ago? Like $20,000. And that was back in the day. Yeah. This sun man was, this sun man, well, unfortunately, this guy gave his life, though, to get this punk off the streets for 65 years. Shit. In days, Cargbo claimed self-defense, and his lawyer vowed to appeal the sentence and argued his client was part of a cycle of violence, even witnessing a murder when he was 15. Do you think the sentence was fair? No, we argued for a guideline sentence. What? The client did apologize in court. I made a terrible mistake, Your Honor. There will be a stain on my soul when I meet God, and I fear the hellfire, he said. Not written by him. Yeah, no, not at all. That's some man don't give a fuck. That lawyer um, wrote that shit. A terrible mistake, he said. It feels better that he was remorseful than to come into the courtroom and say something that was hurtful. Blue's widow fought back tears as she read letters from her children to the judge. In downtown Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.